Hey guys, welcome back to the Fight Fast channel. In today's video, we see a racist guy getting knocked out on a train. This video is the easiest video and breakdown we've done. To avoid this situation, don't be racist. Roll the credits. No, I'm playing, guys. Let's get into the video right now. All right, guys, we're starting this video. This guy right here in the green sweater has been claimed to have been saying racist remarks. We have his girlfriend holding him from behind, and he was making racist remarks to this guy that is seen off camera. And he's running his mouth, screaming at him. Steps forward, bam, one hit wonder. Onto the ground, the guy leaves the scene. All right, let's go back and watch this. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this could have been avoided very easily. You don't be racist. The end. There's nothing I could say about this. Don't be racist. You would have avoided the situation. But let's look at this different. Let's take it. And also, you know, it should be noted. I couldn't find much about this clip. I got this clip sent to me and it said he was racist and running his mouth in front of his girlfriend and then gets knocked out. That's all the information I could find. So that's what I'm going off of. I don't know if that was the situation, but that's all the information I have. But let's look at it a little differently. Let's look at it as if the guy wasn't racist and he did nothing wrong. Or let's run it as he was just running his mouth. This, no matter what the, if he was being racist, if he was a regular stranger, if he was running his mouth, this has to be one of the worst settings I've seen so far. And what I mean by that is never great to be in a street fight, but I would put on the top 10 list of where you don't want to be is probably in a very small quarters. Like there is no space. They're in a train. It's literally smaller than a cage for a cage fight. You know what I mean? This has to be like the worst spot you could be in. Worst situation. You know, we don't have that much context of what's going on. Like as in, does he have friends? Does he have homies? The guy that the guy in the green is fighting with is that guy that he's yelling at have any homies or friends by this video. He's not looking around, but that would be definitely something you would want to keep an eye out for is does he have any friends or anything? Cause you are, you are stuck in this small space. I'm going to assume he doesn't, he is in no fighting position. No clenched up or anything. He's just not like, it, it's almost mind blowing, you know, like I said, you, you never want to be in a street fight, but if you are, I definitely wouldn't want it to be in such tight quarters place. But if you are getting in a street fight, it's serious business that involves one or more of the following, like blood, hospitals, jails, morgues, you know, like you have to ask yourself a couple of questions. And the first one I hear a lot is, am I willing to hurt this person? And if you are, you better be damn sure that what you're about to inflict on this guy will be justifiable in front of a judge. And if the answer is yes, I'm going to have to fight this guy. You know, it should be like, what's my target? Obviously, it's the target that's in front of him. But with that said, once you know your target, there's a couple of things I would do. Like I said already, scan your area. <laughs> no, actually, uh, the first thing you should do is walk away. That's when you actually win. You guys both win. You know what I mean? Like, get away. Always get away. Avoid the situation. Avoid the conflict. Avoid the street fight. That's when you actually will win. But let's say you just can't avoid it. One, his hand is holding onto a bar. His other hand's just loosely doing whatever, pointing, yelling gestures, going to his side. He doesn't have nothing blocking him because this guy is like right in front of him. He's not scanning his area for possible other threats. And then another one, I would have, I would start thinking about my jaw. You know, there, I've, I've heard people clench your jaw, don't clench your jaw. I've heard having your jaw clenched hard reduces the ch chance of your jaw getting dislocated or breaking, but it increases the likelihood of getting KO'd. Having your mouth open increases your chance of your jaw getting dislocated or broken, which running his mouth his jaw is open. Number three, keeping your jaw lightly clenched, you know, and I don't think you would know this unless like, you know, you're practicing fighting and you know, that would help with the mouth guard because your mouth ain't closing all the way. But I've heard that's the overall best strategy, keeping your jaw lightly clenched. It gets the best results over spread of different kind of punches and strikes that connect. Your, uh, your jaw will move a little bit, your lower jaw, it allows some displacement of your lower jaw, but not enough to make it too vulnerable or to break 
or to get knocked out. But um, yeah, he, he leans right into it, man, with the one hit wonder over there. Just keeps on running his mouth, goes forward, and then, then that guy goes forward, bam, knocks him out. Everybody celebrates that the races got knocked out. Yeah, guys, so that was one. We got sent crazy stuff. Make sure you're not racist and <laughs> that won't happen to you. But hey, like I said, we were kind of looking at this in a different way. What if he wasn't racist? What if he was doing nothing, just minding his business on a train? What if he just got in a regular argument about like, hey, my girl was sitting there on the train, move. You know, overall strategy, avoid it. Avoid the confrontation, avoid the fight. But if you can't, there was a couple of um, things that I feel like he messed up on that you should look forward to. Hop in the comments, guys. Let us know what are some things that if you can't avoid a situation, what are some things that you would look for in the first like five seconds of a fight or thing remember guys i'm just the editor here but if you guys want some more knowledge of this i have a video down below of learning how to fight for beginners there's a lesson in there from jim west that shows you what to do when a punch is coming and this guy could have used it go check out that video it's down below click on the screen right now i'll see you guys next time